See, I, I, I wanted to stay home with my children. I wanted to teach them. I did not want to drop them off. And no one else would watch them. <laughs> What's it to stay home with kids, right? I thought it would be easy. So the first year I stayed at home and, you know, I, I think I did okay. I, they were running around and I, I, was, I was a little anxious. I was very anxious. And then the second year, I got a little more anxious, so I started, I started twitching, I started twitching. <laughs> I started yelling, I'd say, yeah, i yell at the kids, I'd start a little, get off the counter, get off the counter, get off the counter. And my kids would be on the counter and they would cry and I thought, oh, this is awful, I'm just an awful mother. What if I were to die right while I was yelling at the kids? That'd be the last face that they would see of their mom. So on the third year, I go back to church. I hadn't been in a while. I had turned away from the Lord for a while, although I had been saved as a teenager. And I, I said, I gotta get right with God. I, I need to get my life right. So I started to pray and I prayed. I, I, it's the third year I'm home with my children. I, Lord, I need some help. I need some help. Could you help me? I, I'm yelling at the kids. I'm pouring a glass of wine at five o'clock. But then Oprah comes on at four. So I want to pour it at four. And then Dr. Phil comes on at two. Please, Lord, could you help me? And I, I didn't get an answer. I didn't get an answer on the third year. Now on the fourth year, I'm, I'm diligent now. I'm going to church Wednesday. I'm going to church Saturday, Sunday. I've got prayer chains around every denomination in my neighborhood. <laughs> They're all praying for me. Leslie needs to, she needs some help. Her husband's on the road. He's gone. He's gone all the time. Leslie needs some help. Please, Lord, it's four years. Please, I need some help. No help. I didn't get another answer. I just couldn't believe it. What did I, what am I doing wrong, Lord? And on the fifth year, I'm, I'm diligent, I'm praying some more. On the fifth year, you think, you think that a miracle can't happen in your life. And on the fifth year, a miracle happened. The school bus came to my house. <laughs> that the Lord was driving <laughs> and he said to me I'm gonna pick your son up at 7 in the morning <laughs> and I'm gonna drop him off at 4 in the afternoon <laughs> I said oh thank you Jesus <laughs> I said how much is this gonna cost and he said it's free I said, well, can you come on Saturday and Sunday too? 